farming is a thriving industry here in the country thanks to you and other Kenyans who are high consumers of milk, which makes Kenya the highest milk a consumer in all of Africa. With technology and modern ways of farming and a proper diet, dairy farmers are now able to increase on their milk production regardless of the number of cows that they have. And this has interested many Kenyan youth. And that brings us to our episode today on Youth in Agriculture, coming to you from Ngobi to Ward in Laikipia County, where we will be meeting Naomi and Harold, a young couple with just two cows, and they are able to make a livelihood out of it. Come with me, let's find out how technological interventions are helping this young couple increase on their milk production and able to make a livelihood out of that. Habarizenyu. Muriega. Asante. Baridi ndio mingi huku. baridi bado. Kuna venye inashika nga vizuri. Hai. Inachoma. Eh, dishachoma ya kamimi. Naomi na Haron. Hata nimeona nikiwa kwa fence muko na ngombe hapo. Taka tujue venye munalisha hao ngombe. Maziwa inye munapata kwa siku. Na vile mbo mnaendeleza iyo biashara. Dile fami ntumianza miaka tatu na nusu wapu. Ngombe tulianza na yule mmoja, akakuja kaza mungine, na sasa hakuna mungine pale. Sasa tuko na ngombe watatu. Nilianza na mmoja, nikafanya breeding, kuligana na hile breeding nataka. Na indio kazi peke yake mnafanya? Hai, tunafanya kilimu. Indio chakula, indio school fees, indio kila kitu? Eee, tunafanya ukulima kwa ngombe na kwa shaba kidogo. Tafuta ngombe mzuli mwenye atakupea production mzuli na atakupea breedi, 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 sawa sawa. Yenye inaweza ukifeed venye inataka ukimanage, inakupea maziwa, yenye itakuwezesha ama yenye itakutosheleza mahitaji zako. Ok, tunanzia na maji, wa maji uomu. Maji uomu ni ya kuosha, unaosha maybe kuna uchafu, unatua uchafu. Alafu, vile umeosha, umiamusha hile uomu. Ya hile inaproduce maziwa. So, uwezi kuja kama umekamua tu hivi. Lazima, lazima uoshe na hiyo maji uomu. Iamushe uomu na hiyo uomu na iproduce maziwa. Tena kuna kitu ingine ya muhimu sana kwa kukamua. Haufai kukaa sana ukikamua. Iyo hormone, iyo milk producing hormone inakaa 7 minutes. Sasa ukikaa zaidi hapo, mwabe haitatua mazu. Kata kama ingetua, mazu itakue mepotea. So diyo inataka ile uzoefu. Apo, diyo sababu sana ya kuosha. Alafu unaosha, unapaka mafuta, diyo sasa uwanze kukamua. Na... Lazima mkono na ukue safi, kucha usikue na kucha hata kidogo. Ukue kucha, nikata kucha. Tazigina unakutaa kuota moja ikona maziwa mingi. Sio zote zinakuwa na maziwa sawa. Ukua na kuta pade moja ikona maziwa mingi kushida ya ingine. Halahu tunamekishua umemaliza maziwa kabisa juu ya kuzuia ugojwa ugojwa kama mastitis mastitis inasubwaga inasubwaga ngombe sana mastitis inakosiwa na nini hiyo ni ni bakteria uchafu na ukibakisha maziwa kama hujamaliza kukamua e, ukibakisha maziwa kwa tete Nilizaliwa nyadalwa, mari naituwa kina gopu. Lakini nikasoma, nikasome uko, sekondari nikatoka uko, nikaeda uko olokalau. Kumaliza sekondari, nikaeda kutafuta kibalua. Kibalua zika kuwa gumu sana. So hapo dio, nilianza kufikili ya mamba ya kulima, yani ile kujiajili. Badala ya kukupi 
wa kuombaomba kimbalua so nika hustle kidogo nikapata pesa kidogo nikaenda college nikafanya daily science sasa hapo mambo ya ngombe wa maziwa ikaniingia kabisa nikapenda maneno ya ngombe wa maziwa eh, kutoka daily science nikaajiliwa na kampuni moja ya maziwa miaka tano nikapata experience nyingi sana ya maziwa eh, vile naweza kana maziwa production ya maziwa kila kitu ya maziwa naweza tengeneza eh, kenye kinaweza toka kwa maziwa so nikafikiria sasa na nikiwa na source ya maziwa sinaweza kuwa na biashara yangu ni kuwa na uh, uh, na biashara ya maziwa ni either ni tengeneze yogurt ama kitu kama maziwa mala lakini shida ikakuwa nitatoa maziwa maziwa wapi ni inherit hii shaba kwa kwa mzee wangu bo ni vile aliniambia we hiyo shaba tenda ushughulike alafu nifanyie ka story niko na Asha Asha uzuri yake hakuli sana kama fresh eh tena iko na ile tunaweza feed utilization yake iko hai ile kitu anakula atatumia haraka na utilize uh, na utilize alafu ku utilize dio if it were production hai suburi sana na maneno ya ja eh, kwa magojwa na si kama freshian ako anajaribu kupigana na magojwa sio eh, tukimaanisha yeye eh, ni hadi than uh, freshian then another thing kwa Asha iko na maziwa yake ni quality sana iko na quality milk eh ju eh, tukiangalia mambo na ile tunaita milk density ya Asha utakuta iko juu ku shida ya freshian uh, butter fat content iko juu nilonunua ngombe moja um, sa after kuka nika breed akapata huyu eh, after huyu naye akaza aliza kadume kadume si kuweka hiyo nikauza so after huyu akaza ile so ile naye dio nakuza sasa na, na, naona juu ni cross breed ya acha na freshian naona hii production yake itakuwa juu then uh, it is uh, it is an imported breed. Eh natural lengo ba wanakula majani vitu za kukua. Hizo majani ama feeds. They are iziko types mingi. Utakuta kuna carbohydrate, kuna protein, kuna zenye zinaipea energy. So ile kitu lazima u balance hizo vitu zote. Lazima ikule eh, balanced diet ine pia glass ziko na energy ukienda protein tuko na lusan na vitu zingine zinaitwa kina clovers eh, eh desmodiums akina cariadra vitu ziko um, so ukitaka ku reduce eh, eh, cost of production lazima ujaribu ku manage eh, chakula na ujue preservation na conservation what to na advise weka silage pande mahindi weka silage wakati mahindi imefika ile kiwango yake ya ile ya kutoa maziwa ile imebeba na imetoa kama maziwa hapo ndio tunaikaga silage silage hiyo inasaidianga sana juu iko na kila kitu iko na energy iko na protein na tena hautakuwa na shida za kwenda kutafutia ngombe chakula bali size ukienda soko kununua hizo concepts yetu alafu bei ya maziwa kuna wakati imekuwa chini sana utakuta umeumia technology imetusaidia sana for example unaweza ji manage kuangalia weather uta technology itakusaidia kujua weather itakaa namna gani so hapo utaweza uta, uta, uta ku kuji plan in order to get timely agricultural information and solutions, the Department of Agriculture here in Laikipia County, in partnership with UK Aid and Aquit, have developed technological interventions in form of mobile applications. We will be getting more on this after this short commercial break. Keep it right here on Youth in Agriculture.